At the moment, Warden is what I would consider a C-plus tier character, and while Cs can certainly get you degrees, which I know from personal experience, in the competitive world of Rainbow Six Siege, it won't get you a very high pick rate or win delta. I believe Warden will suffer from both when Ubisoft takes a look at their data for Operation Modelo Dime coming in the fall. With access to the M590 shotgun and a difficult but not impossible to use fully automatic secondary, Warden is very good in situations where flashbangs and a ying are a necessity for a push. Instead of banning ying, you can bring a Warden. I don't have a problem with the flashbang immunity Warden has. I have a problem with the fact that he's not immune to Zove's concusses, he has to stand and focus really hard in order to look through smoke, and he doesn't have an ACOG. If you know anything about gunplay in Siege, you know that standing still in the middle of a fight is in most cases a bad idea. You should always be trying to reposition and make yourself a more difficult to track target, which Warden literally has to avoid doing in order to take advantage of a smoke denial. If he didn't have to stand still to use the ability, he could probably use the shotgun to push a fight in situations the enemy doesn't expect, and he might be a little too powerful that way, I understand that, fine. I don't want to make him into a close range glass if we can help it. But why doesn't he have an ACOG? It probably wouldn't be a bad idea if he had a gun that was suited to standing still, like something with an ACOG. But since Ubisoft is terrified of releasing another pre-patch Ella or pre-patch Lion, he gets an ability he has to stand still to use without guns appropriate for that mechanic. What's the benefit in being able to see through smoke when the only gun he has that's any good at long range is the MPX? Also worth mentioning is the fact that Ubisoft has not said anything, implying they will refrain from taking away Warden's impact grenades in the future, which would put him even lower on the anchor food chain, because if he brings the MPX, which again, is the only mid to long range gun he is capable of using, he will be an anchor with hardly any utility and no scope. There are anchors in the game that don't have impacts like Doc, but Doc has an ability that is much more likely to get usage in a round than Warden's, and he has an ACOG scope. One of those being the P90, which would have made much more sense on Warden than Valk's MPX. It's not only a gun that the Secret Service is famous for using, but also a commonly overlooked primary that would get to see more usage, kind of like how the FMG9 sees more usage because Nuck is using it. Maybe you could give it a unique sort of scope to balance out the fact that it's typically an unfavored primary weapon pick, kind of like how the M249 was a meme until it got its recoil adjusted and that nice new scope. Why doesn't Warden counter Zofia? It makes bringing him on your team even less compelling of a choice. You mean to tell me that this guy needed a hard counter? He's already struggling as it is. Zofia's concussion grenades and a typical flashbang are used similarly. They deny an opponent's ability to fight back. If the goal of Warden is to act as a hard counter to a flash-heavy, smoke-heavy rush where gadgets are used to deny the defender's ability to retaliate, then why the hell can he make himself immune to Zof's grenades? It's not like Zofia has any hard counters right now except Jaeger, and Jaeger can zap away flashbangs as well as her lifeline nades. So Jaeger and Warden can counter a rushing Ash who flashes into the site, but only Jaeger can counter a rushing Zof. I honestly don't mind Warden's guns that much. The M590 is a great shotgun and the SMG-12 is a pain in the ass to use sometimes, but it serves its purpose in keeping Warden from being sniper shotgun. But what in the diddly ding dong ditch were Ubisoft dinking when they did this operator without the indention of giving him dim packs? No ACOG, and with a gadget that is essentially useless for the close to mid-range fights that his weapons make him accustomed to. His gadget contradicts his operator design, and in order to keep him from being a super situational pick, Warden needs a buff.